Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a fascinating topic to discuss. The legendary figure who has taken the internet by storm with his incredible philanthropy and entertaining videos. That's right, we're talking about none other than Mr. Beast. But what do the celebrities and YouTubers think about this YouTube sensation? Let's find out. Number 5. Casey Neistat This clip of Casey Neistat explains why Mr. Beast is a genius. And it's like about how to use it. And then like you look at somebody like Mr. Beast, and like Mr. Beast's approach, like Jimmy's approach to YouTube, I've never seen anyone like it. It's purely mathematical. Yep. It's like, I mean, he's, his videos are really fun, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of, of spirit and creativity there too, but his approach is entirely based on math. And I don't know, like what, what kind of fucking psycho genius. <laughs> Have you spoken can, to him? I, like talk to him, I talk to him all the time. Safe to say, the most brilliant kid you've ever spoken to I, in your life. Absolutely, yeah. especially like like one of the first times I ever met Jimmy. Like we hung out in New York City, and he like we're having these deep conversations about like the nuances of YouTube and, yep. and social implications of it and all that stuff. And he's like, he asked me like super frankly, he's like, like, how do I learn how to speak better? How do I learn how to be more articulate? And I understood completely why he was saying that and why he was asking that. But like the the confidence it takes in a person to both like recognize the value and being able to be articulate and then like to actually speak up and ask something like that. I mean, my response was just like, just read a lot of books. Like that's how I'm a fucking high school dropout. I learned how to talk from reading books and like, but that was just such like, such a, a clear illustration of where his brain was. His self-awareness. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And his, and his drive to be better. His drive to be better. And just like, he's he is like a very good guy. He's very smart. He's so conscious of what he's doing. He has no accidents in the world of Mr. Beast. Like, mm. he knows what he's doing when it comes to the platform. So, like, meeting someone like him is really interesting. So let's move on to number four. We have Joe Rogan. In this clip, you will see what Joe Rogan thinks of Mr. Beast. Ate it so they can get free food. You know who does that? Mr. Beast. You know that guy, that YouTube guy? I don't know Mr. He's Beast. He's fucking great. He's the guy that has the biggest YouTube channel. He's like a game show. He does like game shows, like people have to solve puzzles and they have to try to find him and, and he'll give them all this money. Well, he's got this philanthropy arm of his business and he gives free meals to people. Look, he's, he's given 1,459,098 pounds of food, 1,215,915 meals delivered. 111,929 individuals fed. And he does this all out of philanthropy. He's just a good guy. He makes a shit ton of money off these YouTube videos, but he pumps almost all of the money back into his business. And he has his, his show translated into multiple languages, into Portuguese and Spanish, and he puts them all up on YouTube. And then he opens up these food pantries and gives people free food. He has like these Thanksgiving day things where he gives out free turkeys. So they pull trucks up filled with turkeys and people just pull up in their car and he says, thank you, here's your turkey, and he hands people food. At number three, we have Chanath Palihapitiya. In this clip, you will see what Chanath Palihapitiya think of Mr. Beast. Oh, no, by the way, I want to say, give a shout out Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast is fucking incredible. He's I mean, a great, what a great, great what an incredible entrepreneur, what a great yeah. human being. Yeah. Um, I, am, I mean, for 23 years old to be that sophisticated. He's 23? 23. Dude, this guy, I, I thought he this was guy, This guy is clearly on track to being an a enormous billionaire. figure in culture. Oh, he's going to be a fucking multi, he multi billionaire. Is Amazing. He's got all these great, and his ideas, he's creative, and he's just a good human. Mr. I really Beast the was one yeah. of the most impressive people I have met in a really, really, really long totally time. Totally agree. I mean, he yeah. and I had been texting for a long time on Twitter and then, and then just on text. But then to finally meet him, and we had talked on the phone and we had Zoomed before, I'd never met him in prison, but what an incredible we should, human Oh, why don't game. we have him as the best? Number two, we have Steve Wildoid. In this, you will see why Steve called Mr. Beast a fake nice person. All right, this one's about Mr. Beast. Mr. fucking Beast. <laughs> Seriously, dude. The title of this podcast is Mr. Beast is a fake nice person. I swear to God he is. Because I, I'm just gonna read it. Okay, but I'm not being a hater or a jealous person or nothing when I say Mr. Beast is a fake nice person. It's just my personal opinion. And it's kind of like, it's because I, 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 I put myself in other people's shoes. That's what I do. You know how I do that? Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, my security guard has made 12, 24, 36. 48 $60,000 the last five months and has worked 
five days. Jeez, that's a five days. good gig. Yeah, five that's days. a good job. No, but I'm just saying, I, I say that because I put people in my shoes and in such a terrible way. Like, I think like if I was him and I'm living the life right now and I'm just working out all day and I'm getting paid and I work just randomly and Steve will do it. Just for me to take that away from him and then and then he has to work all day, 24 seven, probably make less money. It just hurts me. I don't know. I just put my people, I put myself in people's shoes in every situation and I, um, I feel like that's respect, respectable for sure. No, but but well, where are you going with all this? Anyways, is with Mr. Beast is so I don't necessarily care about my YouTube channel being deleted. It just it's frustrating because um you know I had five million subscribers and it got deleted. No reason whatsoever. But anyways, Mr. Beast, I was talking to Mr. Beast in a group chat with him and Chandler. When I had a YouTube channel, I would shoot them ideas. They would say if they liked it or not. Chandler messaged me before that saying that he was a fan of my content. He put me in a group chat with Beast. Beast was super nice, this and that. My channel gets deleted. I message Mr. Beast and I say, um, Yo, my channel got deleted for this reason. I made a new I made a new second channel after my second channel was deleted for having stake.com in the URL. When stake, you're allowed to play stake on YouTube and you're allowed to say I'm playing stake on YouTube. Any way you can help me out, this and that. And it just like leaves me unread, just never responds to me. Same with Chandler. And it's like me personally, my personal opinion, I put myself, if I was beast, like we were talking before that, he he, he liked my videos. He, he, he was trying to help me. And then he just fades me when he's the number one YouTuber in the world. When I talk to him, I talk to his manager, he has weekly meetings when Susan was CEO but he he's the number one YouTuber in the world and the fact that he just shoves he just like puts me aside doesn't respond doesn't try to help me out it makes me believe he's a fake nice person or two he's just a liar but I really think he's just a fake nice person because if he's a really nice person I swear to God, he he would at least respond to me yeah but like he responded to me when I give him video ideas but when my channel gets deleted because for literally bullshit reason for having for making a second channel, a new second channel after my second channel got deleted. My second channel got deleted because I had stake.com. So he left you on Reddit and no- No, but I sent him so much, I explained it. And then he goes on the Nelk with the Full Send podcast. He's like, who's Steve will do it? Is he a YouTuber? Who is he? It's like, bro, Beast, you are a fake, nice person. You are a robot, dude. At number one, we have Elon Musk. In a recent YouTube video, Mr. Beast gifted modern hearing aids to 1,000 deaf people which amassed almost 50 million views in five days, and while many praised the act of humanity and charity, others criticized it as a simplistic solution to a complex issue. So in this tweet, you can see Elon Musk defends Mr. Beast by saying people definitely shouldn't be attacked for doing good. Is it really just a question of money to restore hearing? Added, I'm always looking ways to donate money that are actually good. Perhaps this is one. It is really hard to donate money if you're about doing actual good, not merely the appearance of it. So that you have it. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching.